Hello there, you know it's important when there's a pre-intro message. The following video has possible spoilers for series 11 of Doctor Who airing this October. Um, there's confirmation, like rumours, speculation, photos and videos along the way to help that. So if you don't want any possible spoilers at all from series 11 then do not watch this video at all. But if you do, and you want to know what's going on behind the scenes, and you want to know what we know so far as a community, then continue watching. Thank you all, and I'll see you all in about five-ish seconds. Hello everybody, I'm Ace Creeper, and today I'm back for the brand new video. So you want to know all about Series 11, of course you do, as do I. Um, well, let's just get going with it. So, the basis of it. Um, series 11, there's not much come out about it yet, but we have enough to make a video from it, so I'm just going to tell you pretty much everything that I know um, to the extent of my memory and research. If there's anything I've missed, please do tell me in the comments. If you also have any questions, please leave them in the comment. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability. And if you're leaving a comment like Rip Doctor Who, or this series is going to be terrible, and Jodie Whittaker is a woman, lol, then... Prepare for a sarcastic response because that's just me. Anyway, let's get going. Okay, so first of all, I want to go through a few things that don't really fit with any of the episodes um, at the moment, just some sort of key points. So first of all, the Sheffield clip, there was another, the one video that we do have is of Jodie Whittaker and uh, Cast stepping out of the TARDIS and then there's a little scene I did post to YouTube. Um, I'll come back to this one. Alan Cummings is to play King James I in this series, but I have no idea which episode. Which? Get it? M maybe? I don't know. Lee Mack is also in this series, but has no character confirmed as of yet. The series will have a more cinematic look as it's been filmed on sort of more IMAXy type cameras and quite possibly may look the most beautiful the show has ever looked. Anyway, that's some sort of mini key points. Let's go through each episode at a time. So, episode one. It's one hour long, uh, directed by Jamie Childs and presumably written by Chris Chibnall. Uh, 13 falls from the sky, presumably into a small body of water, which attracts the attention of local police. One of these officers, Graham, is played by Bradley Walsh. Graham has a wife played by Sharon D. Clark. It's presumed that episode one will take the root of a kind of police drama, something with aliens, Sheffield, police and the Doctor. We don't, again, we don't know too much about it, but that's my presumption. We know there's police involved, and we know that Bradley Walsh is playing a policeman. I don't know how the other two companions fit into it, but I presume that that's how the story's going to go. It's going to be more of an Earth mystery opposed to maybe a, a massive alien focus. I can't really see it being like the 11th hour, but it might be. It might be. Who knows? Who, who, who knows? <laughs> Presumably we'll meet the other two companions as well, Ryan and Yasmin, uh, as well as seeing the brand new TARDIS interior at the end of the episode before they all fly off together into episode 2. And this is where it all goes mess up. I'm going to clump episode 2 with episode 3. Both were filmed in South Africa and directed by Mark Tondere. Hope I've not butchered that name. They're also presumed to be different stories, but could conjoin with each other in some way or another. I don't know 100%, but I'm just going with this assuming that they're two separate episodes. One episode is supposedly meant to take the story of the bus boycott, including Rosa Parks, along with Raymond Parks, played by David Rubin, and a few other significant civil rights characters. It'll include something, I don't know if it's a story that's been reported yet, no aliens being seen on set, and it's mostly just faraway pictures of the bus, um, along with a few confirmed actors playing the roles of famous civil rights movement people. The other episode has a more complete story, thankfully. It's a, uh, the original non-clone Sontarans are trying not to get killed by an unseen enemy. Maybe this could be the Rutans, but that is just pure speculation. The Sontaran stuff isn't really confirmed, but the idea of a Doctor and original Sontaran non-clone uh, unique team-up uh, does sound promising. To have the idea of having the original Sontarans from the classic series, a more original style and look, being back in the series alongside the new Doctor is very exciting because you've got an excuse for it. It's not just, you know, it's not the clone version, it's the original, the OG Sontarans, the original born ones and not like computer produced ones, you know? So that's an interesting idea. I did make a full video about this a few days ago, so go check that one out if you want to hear more in depth about this story. Episode 4 
Imagine knowing something about this episode. Well, it's directed by Sally Apperman. Um, that's it. But I did say I'd come back to something. I personally think this will be the Earth story based in Sheffield. The clip of the characters leaving the TARDIS, um, the subtitles seem to give away that they seem surprised to be home, genuinely shot like, oh my god, we're finally home, um, suggesting that they've already been elsewhere and come back. This could very well happen later on in the series, and that is also a very high possibility, but I thought I'd talk about it here, considering I don't know anything else about episode 4, and there's not been a monster confirmed uh, as of yet. Sounds very exciting, though. So, hopefully that is a thing. We know that Jodie Whittaker wears a bum bag in this episode, and the characters are possibly contemplating continuing their travels with the Doctor towards the end of the episode, when it's a bit darker, walking up to the lit-up TARDIS in all its splendour, and entering inside for the end of the episode. That's the presumptions. Episode 5! This is directed by Jennifer Perrot. It's also assumed to be the Mudwitch episode. Now, this has been filmed in an old village in the UK. It had a few small images leaked through a few trees, uh, but we do know they've been filming there with Jodie Whittaker uh, being prominently seen at the site, along with loads of props. We didn't get to see much of it, but we can only assume it goes along the lines of something similar to the Witches of the Shakespeare Code. But what's interesting is I can see the Doctor getting taken as a witch because, you know, being a woman with sort of weird powers like a sonic screwdriver, that could be also quite an interesting concept to bring witches back and not be completely boring like the Shakespeare Code was. Also, the joke about witches earlier could suggest the relevance from King James I in this one as well, but I don't know why he'd be in this little small village unless it was a visit of sorts. I don't know, but that would be an interesting concept. Pausing halfway along the series, let's talk about the basics and what we already know. The new logo is right here and is fully confirmed and hype filled. The background is red with rocks and light effects. This could be linking to the title sequence, maybe. Maybe we'll see some of that. The new TARDIS looks beautiful. The new model, uh, for the first new branded model since 2005, new colour and new light. The logo teaser shows the light having a nice yellow and blue colour deviating between the two. New TARDIS interior? Yes, there will be one, but I have no idea what it looks like. And I kind of hope they do keep it secret, to be honest. I would guess it has a silver greyish type floor and has a sort of orangey glow inside. But that's, again, just pure speculation. There will be a new Sonic screwdriver. No idea what it looks like, but it's rumoured to have a sort of curve in the actual build and have a nice amber colour on the light, which in my opinion, isn't a bad idea. Jodie has a great costume, in my opinion, and... Some of you may be pleased to know that in a few episodes, her t-shirt and trousers may change uh, throughout the series, so she might have to wear a different t-shirt along with different trousers set and etc, etc, etc. And obviously we know she'll be wearing a bum bag in one of the episodes as well. This was confirmed by the actress who plays Yasmin Khan, Mandip Gill. Episode 6 of the series, directed by Sally once again, and according to TARDIS Wiki, has the Yeti in it. But to me, it seems a little bit unlikely because I've heard it absolutely nowhere else on the internet. And, yeah, that's it. We don't know anything else about this episode. Episode 7. TARDIS Wiki tells us that it's the Daleks that will be in this episode. And thanks to a guy who works for Media City, we know the Daleks are going to be returning in the new series. But no confirmation on which episode or the type of story. I personally presume it'll be more of an alien story inside a spaceship, as we haven't seen any Daleks in public quite yet, so it's not really an Earth-based one, but more of a sort of space station type one, or etc. along those lines, a bit like Into the Dalek. Episode 8. Jennifer Perrot directs this one, and that is all I know. <laughs> Episodes 9 and 10 presume to be a two-parter, and possibly based around Christmas time. The theory with that is because the series is airing so late that the last two episodes could conjoin with a Christmas uh, Christmas special, meaning that episode 10 or episode 9 could be slightly Christmas based. I'm clumping these together because I believe they're a two-parter. They might not be, but I can only presume because that's the sort of tradition many years have gone with. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping that they kind of keep it the same way. So it could be based around Christmas time, or we could be getting that, and then a Christmas special on top of that, maybe like a week later or something, like we did with the Husbands of Riversong after Series 9, which aired pretty much right at the beginning of December. Now, the TARDIS wiki here says Celestial Toymaker, but, again, 
That comes from literally nowhere. TARDIS Wiki can be edited from anyone, and I've not heard anything about the Celestial Toymaker. It's an interesting concept, but it has as much evidence behind it as me saying the villain will be an obscure 90s sitcom character. We do know Jamie Childs will also be directing this uh, as well, which is very, very exciting. In terms of writers, we don't really know anything. We know that Chris Chibnall is the showrunner, obviously, and that he will be writing, like, probably at least... I'd say at least three of the episodes, maybe the last two-parter and the first episode, and then maybe a couple of the rest. I don't know 100%, but it's presumed to be that way, and we'll probably have a few guest writers in as well. We know that Rachel Tellerlay is definitely not directing this series, but she was asked. Um, she has considered coming up for Series 12, though. We also know that Mark Gatiss, Russell T. Davis, and Stephen Moffat are not writing any episodes for this series at all. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much all I have here. If you have anything that I may or may not have missed, please do tell me in the comments and I will surely try and report it. In the meantime though, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, comment below if you have any things to say about it that I may have missed or may not have missed or may have got wrong, source-wise, or any questions at all, please do put them all in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already, we're nearly at 4,000 now. The recent impact has been absolutely amazing and I can't thank you all enough. Check out the Patreon, check out the Discord, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those lovely links in the description below. And I'll see you all next time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.